Hello everybody and welcome to this week's episode of BC Skate Tours. My name is Brian. Today we are at Camp Verde Skate Park. The skate park is located at 418 West Apache Trail, Camp Verde, Arizona. So uh, if you happen to be driving between like, I don't know, let's say Phoenix and Sedona, Phoenix and Flagstaff, whatnot, uh, you can stop here, stretch your legs out. Let's go ahead and get on with the tour. This is Heritage Skate Park rules. Users must obey all posted rules. Open dawn to 10 p.m. when lights are operating. Skate at your own risk. Alcohol is not allowed. Glass containers are not allowed. The facility is not supervised. Know your abilities and skate within them. The use of protective equipment, including helmets, knee and elbow pads, and mouth guard are strongly recommended. Keep clear of debris and litter. Additional obstacles like ramps and jumps may not be used at the skate park. No bicycles or motorized vehicles vehicles are allowed. Town of Camp Verde does not assume liability or responsibility for injuries. Overnight camping or parking is not allowed. All federal, state, and county, and town statutes, codes, and ordinance shall be obeyed. Some prohibited uses or actions may be allowed with specific special permit from Parks and Recreation. Camp Verde Parks and Recreation, 395 South Main Street, 928-554-0828. Okay, upon entering the park, I am not very impressed with this one, but we're going to go ahead and give it a shot and check it out. You can see right here that there's a button. I'm going to assume that's for the lights. And there's also a porta potty over here, so that's kind of cool. The uh, entrance right here is set up so you can't bring in any bikes, so I'm guessing that snow bikes are allowed. And there is a bar that is literally about the five foot height mark that stretches across, so watch your head as you come in. You're going to want to guillotine yourself. Let's go ahead and check this park out a little bit. We're going to go around the perimeter. First thing I see here is this, uh, I don't know, kind of kind of a Twinkie, kind of a hip, kind of a wall. Kind of unique. This side looks a little normal. A little more normal looks like a uh, nice ledge with some good coping. Kind of slopes down into this direction here. And nice curb rail. Actually, you can have a lot of fun on this. Over here, what do we got? All right, look at this. We got a a uh, decent bowl. Has some sharp edges up here on the top of the Twinkie. It's kind of an odd-shaped Twinkie, I'll give it that. The drain, I guess, kind of missed its mark. I guess it should have been a little bit further over here to the right. And uh, so now we got a couple of puddles. It is monsoon season. I don't live here and I am just stopping by and just checking out the pool, so, or the skate park, but looks like monsoon season. This bowl is definitely gonna be tough to skate. Bring your shop vacs, your towels, and your brooms. Always bring your brooms. And uh, has some real nice round coping up at the top. Kind of some weird angling here in the hip or in the corner. I'm sorry, but yeah. It looks like it'd be fun to really get into skating that nice pumping area right here in the middle and keep the speed up along that, that center area. I think this bowl can actually be a lot of fun if uh, it drained. They missed its mark over here as well, low, low spots over here. I guess this is the main area of the park. You got a flat top Twinkie volcano there coming off the wall. Looks like it could be pretty, pretty darn fun uh, gapping that in all kinds of different ways. A uh, volcano with a flat top here in the middle, nice cornered off hips. All in all, this park really isn't all that bad, it's just a little bit weird. The only street stuff that I see here is going to be these ledges. This fun box here in the middle with the ledge and hubba, uh, the rail up on top of the hips. And then this uh, downward uh, handrail right here, perfect to imitate a uh, staircase, uh, about knee high on that. and. Um, this park actually looks really fun, uh, to be totally honest. First impressions, not that great, but I mean, you got some pretty nice carving wall here. I wouldn't drop in necessarily from here because it's more of a 45 degree angle up there with the rail or with the coping. And I mean, that's great, especially for a novice learning how to skate. That is absolutely perfect. I'd probably drop in more from this side and work it back and forth using the hip in the middle to help keep that speed going. You got decent corners along these hips uh, in order, so you can keep your pump going. Nice good flow over the Twinkie, good, uh, good flow into that corner. 
Got a nice little area. And even uh, over here, I can see Aaron Jaws and Moki coming in, flying off of this corner, dropping down and doing some wild stuff uh, up and over this. But otherwise, you do gotta come down here and make a quick transition before you hit the fun box. And same thing from the other side over there as well. Uh, you can mix it up with the with the boxes up there, with the ledges and come right in here and, and uh, definitely have some fun. The more skilled you are, the more fun you're gonna have, you know? bring your towels you know i was thinking about this they got battery powered shop vacs my ryobi is a six gallon that would suck this up right up and and put a couple towels down real quick this would be gone in no time and you can skate this park no problem at all i think that should be part of the tools that you bring with you is a battery powered shop vac not the milwaukee ones you don't want a really nice one and you want the capacity i think the ryobi is perfect because it's got the wheels and it's got a six gallon capacity so uh the coping stops right here and it finishes off the ledge without any coping. The coping does have the kink at the end over there. But yeah, different ways, flat top on the Twinkie. So it's not necessarily one to pump over, but you can definitely trick over it, over the flat top. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff. You can pump over into this corner and this is where I think it'd be really fun, right in the wall and going around the Twinkie this way. It's got a very sharp kink to go with this flow here, so. And that's the park. Let's go ahead and get the drone in the air, and uh, which will be the opening rule edit shots. And that's going to go ahead and do it. Until next time, go out there and skate, have fun, and enjoy life. If you like our videos, hit the like button down below. It'll really help us out. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button right here. Check out a playlist of all kinds of skate park tours right here. Check out all the local skaters right here. And here is a special video chosen by YouTube just for you right here.